What's up everybody, 915 Mang here Hanging out with you guys today Thank you for tuning in And not being a weenie uh, For those of you who have Not subscribed, go ahead and hit that button It's free And you get to follow along with all The reef uh, craziness, madness uh, That I'm doing So I decided to get a little bit More coral Just a little bit and uh, it's going to all go in the display tank, which is a 150-gallon SCA aquarium. I've had it for a few years, and it was looking a little bit empty. So I need to go ahead and hit that refresh button and get some SPS and, of course, the Zoas and the Pallies. But this time, I went online, and I picked them up from uh, eBay. I got the... Uh, corals on ebay through auction and i'm going to tell you some secrets so stay tuned and listen up like i said in the last couple of videos the coral don't stop i gotta go ahead and load up my tank and i wanted to pick up some sps and that's what i went searching for um, i do um, pick up a lot of them from once i order and you're, you're pretty good then i'll go ahead and keep ordering and order and order and order later on but this was my first time ordering online with this company called GW Gorilla Corals. They have an Instagram page and everything. I'll pop the uh, link down there below in the video. And uh, you know what? It seems like they had some pretty good stuff. But I'm going to tell you a little bit of secrets on how to order on eBay. And just a disclaimer, putting this out there right now. They didn't know I was going to do a video. They didn't know I was going to do an unboxing. They didn't hook me up. And uh, I just paid like a normal average Joe that I am. Uh, so here are the secrets on when you're ordering online through eBay. It's all a bidding process, okay? They'll start it off real low. They'll start it off at, you know, a dollar, two dollars, twenty-five dollars, right? And people will start bidding on it automatically. Um, the thing is, these bids usually go from like, a, let's say, a Friday, and then they'll close on a Sunday. So, you know, if people bid on it right away, let's say $10, the next person will come in there on the first day and do $5 and make it up to $15, right? But the thing is, you don't want to do that. You want to keep it, like, low. There's, a, there's an icon there that you can hit. And it's like a heart and you, it's just watching it right you just got to remind yourself to watch it and don't bid on it yet because you want to come in and steal these corals at the last minute let for example let's say you're watching coral a it's a zoa right and somebody already bid $15 on the coral well if you bid on it right now that thing can get all the way up to $25 because the other person is going to come back and, and uh, bid on it. And they also have it set up for automatic bid up to your max increase bid. Okay. So so it's really not that complicated. I just have a lot of information to tell you. In case you're searching for some good corals at a good price for you to win. Basically, you set your bid. Right. Let's say $5. And it will ask you your max increase bid. $10. Right. Don't do that. Right. Not at, not at the beginning. Do that towards the very last minute. And I'm talking when the coral is about to close. Then you go ahead and do it within seconds. It'll do a countdown on the app. Okay, you can you can do it on the computer, or you could also do it on the app. And let's say you start watching it at uh, about one minute down. Don't submit your bid until you're about like eight seconds, ten seconds on a coral. Okay. And then that's when you'd say, if that coral was $5, do a bid of $10 and your max bid of whatever you're comfortable spending, like $15. And it'll close and it'll either say, congratulations, you won this coral, or you missed it and it'll do you like a sad face or something like that. But that's what I did. And that's how I picked up quite a bit of uh, Zoas and other um, SPS in this tank, which I'm really happy about. So you can go ahead and get quite a bit of corals and load up your tank. 
Um, if you go to like the other websites, you know, some of them are off the bat $30, you know, $40, $60, $70 for some SPS. And on eBay, you have a little bit of a better chance because if you start off early, you just watch and don't place a bid yet. Like I said, you can hit that icon to watch it. It's a little heart button and uh, you just keep track of the, uh, the bid. You can go ahead and pull away some big pieces and uh, like I said this company that I I got some corals from GW corals uh, they have some nice stuff and they seem to be doing it uh, weekly sales there's other companies out there you know worldwide corals are on there you know you might be able to pull some nice stuff on that site on their bidding process uh, you got quite a bit of sellers name brand sellers out there that uh, you can get some pieces from but that is just my pro tip to you guys who are just starting off and want to add some more SPS or Zoas or corals into your tank you know what consider eBay and just follow those rules I do got to give a shout out to the subscriber who gave me the heads up I was looking for the comments so I can give you a shout out on this page um, but uh, just drop a comment below let me know how you are uh, who you are and how you do it and all the other subscribers thank you guys take care